Hey everyone, my name is Mrinal Kuteri. I am presently a first year MBBS student at Ames New Delhi and I've secured joint All India Rank 1 in NEET UG 2021. And I want to uh, say a little bit about remembering physics formulae. So, remember the thing about physics formulae is that you initially you might have to memorize them. But with time and practice, it kind of becomes ingrained in your memory because it, it happens at a subconscious level, you know, trying to do it. But the more questions you solve based on it, the more, um, the deeper it will get implanted in your memory. So, the first thing about remembering physics formulae is that, obviously, practice as much as possible. Um, let me write that down. cliched as it sounds it is true the more you practice the more number of questions that you solve based on that particular concept you'll find that the you kind of internalize the formula you start using it at a subconscious level you just see the question you see what variables are provided and you just know what formula has to be used you don't necessarily have to memorize it it happens at a subconscious level and this thing takes time so initially when you're learning something for the first time you will have to memorize the formula it does not happen instantly but this will happen with time and practice as you revise more and more as you solve more tests as you solve more mcqs this will happen at a subconscious level so with time you won't have to necessarily memorize them another thing you can do is learn the derivation not exactly learn but understand how the formula has been derived now some formulae have very difficult uh, derivations which you i found difficult to understand so those i had to memorize but a lot of the important formulae like, uh, like many of the ones given in ncrt have simple easy to understand derivations like you can you can see how it has been derived from a basic principle or a theorem so if you read the derivation and you understand it then if you forget the uh, final formula in the exam you will actually be able to derive it from the theorem which you know forms the base forms the fundamental basis of it so again it is good to remember formulae because you need to save time in the exam if you know a one step formula to a question it will help you finish the question in no time but suppose you don't remember then learning the derivation helps you because then you will know how to derive that formula in the exam and use it and also you will be able to know all the intermediate steps in that formula like each intermediate step is also a potential question so some of the harder questions are like that they're based on the intermediate steps so learning the derivation gives you that added advantage as well the other thing, the only other thing which I can suggest is making formula charts. So this is particularly helpful for those formulae that you can't remember the derivation of or maybe you just you had just read it and you want to learn the formula in time for the next exam or you just need a quick source of revision basically to ensure that you haven't forgotten it. Making formula charts is useful that way because it's quick revision. You don't have to read the whole chapter now. You just need to refer to that uh, formula chart you made before the exam and you're pretty much good to go so this is a more of a quick revision hack more than um, a way to actually memorize or remember formulae i would still suggest that these two are the ways to remember formulae because this is much more long lasting but this also you know seeing a formula repeatedly will again ingrain it in your uh, long term memory much the same way that these work so there you have it these are the ways in which you can which these are the ways which i use to remember physics formulae 
um, hope it helps you. Thank you very much. Good luck with your preparation.